Hi hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be going over another entry in the Who Is Roblox Lore History Series. Now this person is very important to the creation of Roblox. I would even go as far as to call him one of the founding fathers of Roblox. This person is none other than Matt Dusek. User ID number 916 and employee number one, hired right before John Shadletsky around 2005 to 2006. Matt is very important to Roblox because he had a hand in creating it at the very beginning and helped bring things to the platform that we all know and love. Things like Roblox, or otherwise known as the trade currency, tickets, and Robux. He helped form the very start of the Roblox economy. Now I will read a small excerpt from the Roblox blog. Nine years ago, Eric, John, Matt, and I designed the original Roblox economy. At the time, virtual currency was a new concept and typically only used in online MMOs. Virtual worlds like Second Life and Club Penguin were popular, and social platforms like Facebook were just coming into existence. Smartphone mobile gaming did not exist. In designing our virtual economy, we decided on two forms of currency, tickets and Robux. Robux formed the backbone of our economy, while tickets were designed to reward participation, building stuff and playing the game, without giving out free Robux, which would cause inflation for all users who purchased them. At the time, it was common practice for many games to have two currencies, Another feature that he was tasked with creating that is still present to this day is the thumbs up, thumbs down feature. Matt's formal work title or position is technical director. To my knowledge, he is still a Roblox staff member. However, I am unsure if his position or title has changed over the years. Matt is probably most known on Roblox for his famous hat, the Dusikar, which was actually created by Telemon, also known as John Shadletsky. This was the original hat. There are a couple other recolors as well. A few things worth noting about the Dusikar is that the flames on the hat are scripted to only allow for the flames to be visible in game if the person who's wearing the hat is Matt himself. This hat was also given out as part of a two-part gift given out to super user accounts, or in other words, mods or admins. This glowing gold gift of super user gave out the red domino crown and another gift called the silver gift of surprise which was a bonus gift that also came out of the glowing gold gift of super user, hence the two-part gift. The description on the Dusikar reads, Destiny's powerful hand has made the bet of my future, and it's up to me to lie in it. I am destined to be a superhero, to right wrongs, and to pound two-fisted justice into the hearts of evildoers everywhere. And you don't fight Destiny, no sir, and you don't eat crackers in the bed of your future, or you get all scratchy. This description is actually a quote from a cartoon comic superhero called The Tick. Can you see the resemblance between the hat and the character? In an interview with Reese McBlocks, he was asked how he got Telemon to make him the Dusikar, and his response was, well, I didn't really get Telemon to make it for me. He's pretty much the physical manifestation of elemental caprice. He submits to no authority or compulsion save his own whimsy. That said, he did strike a bargain of sorts. I built the Roblox in exchange for it. Matt is also known for being one of the first and only users to have a space in his username. This was, and still is, very uncommon. He ended up making one pretty popular game back in the day called Balance, which was a simple base plate that required all players to work together to survive. If weight shifted on the base plate, everyone had to correct that shift to stay alive. This game was actually made after a claymation made back in 1989 that featured five people on a base plate. I will put that link in the description if anyone wants to check that out. Roblox also ended up making an RC car called the Dusik car. The description on that car says, the Dusik car is faster than any other car. Not because the car itself is super high performance, because Dusik is driving. A shiny yellow vet with a special Dusik hood ornament. This is worth noting because Matt is a car enthusiast. I actually talked to him recently about cars. He enjoys racing and he actually owns a yellow fifth generation Z06 Corvette which is what the RC car is based off of. There was also a face called Fast Car. The description on it states, Dude, I think Matt Dusek just laughed you. Also referring to Matt's racing hobby. So in summary, Matt was one of the founding fathers of Roblox and had a hand in the early development and creation of Roblox. Roblox isn't what it once was back in the day, but luckily there are still small remnants of the past that linger. I love documenting the past so everyone can know how these people and the things they did had such an impact on the Roblox you know and play today. I will send you all off with a very interesting quote from Matt many years ago. There's a fascinating phenomenon called the IKEA effect, 
where your appreciation for something is disproportionately impacted by your involvement in creating it. It's why UGC isn't just an interesting feature of Roblox, it's the essential ingredient in our secret sauce. Ultimately, everything you experience is made, and you're one of the makers. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.